In this episode, we will be featuring the HGTV Studio Challenge and Expo Teacher Highlight, Grizzly on the Prowl, Building Expectations, and Ebert Provo. HGTV starts right now! Hey Grizzlies, welcome back from winter break and happy 2020. I'm Ashton Quiz And I'm Samantha Davis. Hey Sam, are you up for a challenge? What about the parents on the challenge? Let's see this week's GTV raffle winners and what challenge they'll be competing in. Mia, take it away. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Mia Leone, and welcome back to the first GTV challenge of the new year. This challenge is... The Whisper Challenge. Let's go listen in. Hi, my name is Arianne Jackson, and I'm in 8th grade, and Zoe is going down. <laughs> My name is Zoe Nicholson and I'm in 8th grade and imagine thinking you're going to win. Am I a piece of bread? Because I am so... <laughs> Woo! Do you like turtles? Do I like clues? Do you like turtles? Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> do you? Do me? Do you? Like? Like? Turtles. that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. No. No. <laughs> I say, look, ma, no hands. This is a rich chance. I'm a bad Ariana. mama. Kit. 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 Cat. Cat. Kit Cat. Uh -huh. Kit Cat. R. R. The. The. Bed. Kit Cats are the best. No. 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 Green. 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 Green tea. Reese's. Green tea. Green tea. Oh. Green tea. tea Kit Kats are the best. Green tea Kit Kats are the best. Man, you made me sweat. Ask her why you have the same name as me. Why do you have the same name as me? Ask her why do you have the same name as me. Wait, what? Ask her why do you have the same name as me. Ask her why do you have the same name as me? Yes. And now a special appearance from our raffle winners, Annabelle and Ben. My name is Annabelle Franklin, and I'm in sixth grade, and I'm totally going to beat him. Hi, my name is Ben Sipes, and I'm in sixth grade. I'm going to beat her. Do you want to get some cheese? <laughs> Do you want to get some cheese? <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you? Yeah. Pineapple belongs on pizza. What? Pineapple belongs on pizza. <laughs> Pineapple belongs on people or pizza. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, Grizzlies. I hope you had a great new year. Now, signing off from GTV, I'm Elioni, and back to you in the studio. Winter breaks really messed me up. Me too. We should go over our expectations. Let's get a reminder from Emily. Hey, Grizzlies. It's Emily Caton, and today we're going over our. Let's go check it out. Walk two by two on the right side of the hallway and keep moving. Use common areas to stand. Chiefs kingdom, arrowhead pride. Let's go, baby, come. Be quiet in the library and read or check out books. Don't talk loud and distract others. No stopping us, gonna win the Super Bowl. Deep four, Travis Kelsey, Tyree, Chris Jones. Uh, be here on time. Do your work. Bring a pencil. Maybe some paper. Maybe here to learn. Maybe realize that education is your future. Other expectations? Be nice to each other. Be nice to your teachers. Be nice to pets. Small animals. Squirrels. They need you to be nice to them. 
Okay, this is Mr. Jones talking about some classroom expectations. Uh, some of the things are make sure you're kind of prepared for class. I mean, show up with a pencil, guys. Come on. Uh, use your class time wisely. If you have a little bit of extra time at the end of the class, find something to do. Read a book. Uh, you know, make sure all your work gets turned in on time. I know in the science class, your homework's about 70% of the grade. So make sure you use your time wisely. Show up prepared. Uh, get your work turned in. Be nice to Miss Peyton. She is really sad sometimes when people are nice to her. Don't be nice to Mr. Buchanan. He doesn't need it. He's always happy. Do the right thing. So many more. It's been days talking about this. Grizzlies, this is your principal, Mr. Goddard. You have a chance to start with a fresh start and have a great semester. Remember, nothing has changed as far as our expectations on your behavior and what you should be doing here at Paul Kinder Middle School. Remember, we have three Grizzly goals. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Please keep those in mind as we're going throughout the second semester. I am very hopeful that you can qualify for the Worlds of Fun incentive trip for our 4As program. So keep up the good work. We had a great first semester. I look forward to an even better second semester, and it takes all of us. So uh, be safe, respectful, and responsible. Thank you, Grizzlies. Use the doors in the front to go through. Shut them behind you. Don't make a mess in the bathroom. Get on the bus when you're supposed to. Come to school when you're supposed to. Check your grades when you're supposed to. Keep your rooms clean. At home and at school. Expectations. E-X-P-E-C-T-A-T-I-O-N-S. Expectations. Be safe and respectful in the gym. Use supplies properly and don't hurt others. Signing off for GTV, I'm Emily Caton. Now back to you in the studio. It's a new semester and it's time for new Expo classes. There's a lot of Expo teachers in our school. Let's see what they do and get to know them better. Take it away, Whitney. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Whitney Erickson. Today we'll be learning about our Expo teachers. Let's go check it out. I am Mrs. Heidi and I teach art. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wells. I teach Passport to Languages, World Languages, and Spanish One. My name is Mr. Manning and I teach Orchestra. I'm Mrs. Dysadu and I teach Family and Consumer Science. Uh, my name is Mrs. DeSantis and I teach band classes. Um, I am Mrs. Turnbow and I teach Project Lead the Way. Uh, I'm Mr. Lanou and I teach Computer Apps. I am Mrs. Oakenquist. I teach four different classes, Performing Arts, Theatrical Arts, Debate and Forensics, and my favorite, GTV. Hi, I'm Mr. Edgar, and I teach choir. My name is Ms. Jones, and I teach Expo Ambassadors. I went to University of Central Missouri. I went to college at Northwest Missouri State. I went to college at Graceland College, and then I did master's at Baker University. Uh, I went to college at William Jewell in Liberty, Missouri, and then after that, I went to Graceland University, and then after that, I went to William Woods. I went to college at Truman State University. I went to college at the University of Texas at Austin. I went to college at the University of Central Missouri in Warrensburg. Um, I studied, my, I got my bachelor's degree at Northwest Missouri State University, and then I got my master's degree in teaching at um, University of Central Missouri. I went to Truman State University in Kirksville, Missouri. Art helps prepare students for the future by um, teaching them to be creative, teaching them to work with others, and how to use their artistic skills. It helps them learn about the world around them. Um, all four of my classes have kind of the same goal of um, helping kids gain self-confidence in themselves as public speakers and performers and communicators. My class helps prepare students for the world by um, teaching them how to think critically about certain things and how to um, do something together as a family and just how to get things done in an orderly fashion. Well, my class is pretty much life skills. So kids need to know how to eat, so they need to learn how to cook for themselves. 
Um, and then sewing, they can um, fix clothes on their own or create their own projects. And I feel like they have really good future careers for my class. Uh, music is really awesome because it activates both the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain. So you get all of the creative things and all of the technical coordination math skills all in one place. Learning how to interview people and just doing some hands-on activities. Um, Project Lead the Way helps kids plan for their future because it's all based on working together, um, critical thinking skills, problem solving, which is what you would do in any job you have. And so it'll, it'll really help students in their future careers. A band? Oh man, how long you got? It's really awesome. It's fun. You get to play music and learn about music, but also... Thanks teachers. Signing off from GTV, I went near Erickson. Now back to you in the studio. My winter break was really fun. So was mine. I got so many presents. Let's go see how other people spent their winter break. And that's what Sophia is going to be doing on this week's Grizzly on the Prowl. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Ashton Caden and on this episode of GTV, we're doing a New Year's theme Grizzly on the Prowl. Let's get right to it. What'd you do for New Year's Eve, dog? Uh, hung out at my friend's house. That's nice. Hey, what do you uh, drink on New Year's? Water. Yes, sir. What did you eat on New Year's? You know what I ate, bro? What? I ate some chicken, bro. It was good. Like, what time are you talking? Fried chicken? Are we talking about chicken tenders or chicken nuggets? I, I, I got some like like uh, some thighs from uh, Popeyes and I got that sandwich, what bro. Is, it was a spicy, though. Bro, I got one spicy, one not spicy. One spicy? That's hot. More caliente. <laughs> What's your New Year's re resolution? To get an Xbox One X. Why oh, not a PlayStation, man? Because I already got three. I'll stick with PlayStation. It's okay. the thing to do. What'd you do on New Year's? Oh, uh, stayed up till 12 and then went to bed. Play Minecraft? No. Why not? I don't know. So disappointed. New Year's. Uh, what I do on New Year's? Yeah. Uh, well, I had no one to kiss, so I end up just being alone yeah. with a greasy pizza yeah. in my room. What was the pizza from? Uh, Little Caesars, because we can't afford Pizza Hut. Little Caesars is good, dude. Are you crazy right now? <laughs> Their legit crust is made from cardboard. But uh, yeah, and it was just really tough for me. And I uh, was listening to X the whole night, a little bit of Juice World. It's okay. Rib Juice. Uh, yeah. I didn't get drink on New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve? Yeah. Water, because it's healthy for you. Good man. Thanks. <laughs> hey, hey. What's your favorite snack on New Year's? Uh, That's great. Very good. <laughs> Done. I guess. Yeah. Hey, it's Mr. Ming, and it's Grizzly TV! Chihuahua. What'd you do for New Year's Eve? Uh, eat cake, you know, drink. What'd you drink? Uh, What's your favorite thing to eat on New Year's Eve? Candy. <laughs> candy. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do on New Year's Eve? Stay up till midnight. Who did you kiss on New Year's? <gasps> My dog. Is he hot? <laughs> Is he hot? It's a she. What did you do on New Year's? Kiss? Yeah. Um, my dog. And it's your mother. <laughs> what did you do on New Year's? Uh, we had a Roaring Twenties party. It was very fun. What is that? Uh, do you know what the Roaring Twenties are? No, obviously. <laughs> Go watch Great Gatsby. Alright, what did you drink on New Year's? Hot chocolate. Wow. It's amazing. It is. I know. It's very amazing. Hey Grizzlies, thanks for those amazing answers. I'm Master Caden, now back to you in the studio. Hey Grizzlies, my name's Janelle Marshall and I'm going to be giving you the scoop on this week's weekly announcements. There's a basketball game here, the girls are playing at 4 o'clock. On the 14th, there's a boys basketball game at Delta Woods at 4 o'clock. On the 16th at Moreland Ridge, there's a boys basketball game at 4 o'clock. On the 16th, there's also a girls basketball game here at 4 o'clock. So we're going to have you...
spin this. For what flavor? Just spin this. Yeah. You get um marshmallow or a steak bun. Okay. So I'm gonna Happy birthday! That's all for now, Grizzlies. Hope you enjoy your three-day weekend. Signing off from GTV, I'm Janelle Marshall. Now back to Sam and Ashlyn in the studio. Next up, we'll be talking about the yearbook. Wait, we're missing someone. Where's Holly? Hey, Grizzlies. I'm Holly Woods, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your yearbook. Let's go check it out. Yearbooks are for sale until spring break. You can get them online for $25 at yearbookforever.com. Some reasons why you should get a yearbook is so that you can look back at all the memories and you can look at yourself when you were in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade. I'm so glad we have all these memories. Mm -hmm. you, should one. you should buy one. You should buy one. You should buy one. You should buy one. Make sure you go buy a yearbook, Grizzlies. Now signing off from GTV, I'm Hollywoods. Now back to you in the studio. Hey, Grizzlies. Welcome back to Grizzly Shoutouts. Once a month, GTV draws four names from this bucket. Those students paid $1 for 15 seconds of fame on camera. Let's go see who these winners are. Woo! I'm Madeline Campbell, and I'm in sixth grade. And I'm Stars. Yeah. Whenever I, was in, whenever I was four years old or three years old, I don't remember, I got bit by a boxer, and I got 25 stitches in my head. And it hurt. I'm Jeremiah Hooks, and I am in sixth grade. Hi, I'm Jeremiah, and um, my favorite memory is when we did the Mary Poppins play where we got to rehearse and do a lot of fun things. I really miss all the people that are there, and especially the songs. That was quick. <laughs> Hi, my name is Vanessa Van Hosen, and I'm in, six, in sixth grade. And my favorite thing to do is draw late at night and... Uh, create paintings on the canvas that I have at home. My name's Keenan Vore and I'm in seventh grade. So I'm telling a story about how the time how uh, me and my sister were riding bikes and uh, I ran over her head by accident. We were riding and she fell right in front of me and I ran over her head and I fell and I got a concussion. Well, Grizzlies, that's all for this episode. Signing out from GTV, I'm Samantha Davis. And I'm Ashton Ogenquist. And remember, Grizzlies, greatness happens here.